The company, Adaptive Biotechnologies, aggregates data from human immune systems and uses it for disease identification and treatment. And today, the company is going public in one of the biggest biotech listings of the year. The IPO priced at $20 a share. That was above its increased range, also expanded the number of shares that it's going to be issuing today. And uh, we should also mention Microsoft has invested $45 million in this company. It's part of a seven-year partnership to push immuno, immuno innovation. Joining us ahead of today's uh, first trade is Chad Robbins. He's the CEO and co-founder of Adaptive Biotechnologies. And, and Chad, it's great to see you. Becky, Aaron, Joe, thanks for having me on the show. I really appreciate it. Thanks for coming in. Um, let's talk a little bit about what the company does first, and, and then we'll talk about the IPO and, sure. and how there's stronger demand for it sure. uh, than had been initially expected. Let's, sure. Let's start with our immune system, which is amazing. Our immune system has evolved over hundreds of millions of years in response to disease. And Adaptive has created technologies that allow us to tap into this information, to read the genetics of the immune system, to create clinical products to transform how we both diagnose and treat disease. One of those uh, diagnoses, one of those products that you have is being able to see if someone relapses w with blood cancer. How yeah. does that work? Our first clinical diagnostic is a product called ClonoSeq, and that's for measuring minimal residual disease in certain blood cancers. So if a patient has one of these blood cancers, such as leukemia or multimyeloma, we're able to first determine whether the therapy worked, and then we're able to tell but at a molecular level, before a patient relapses in the clinic, whether that patient um, is going to relapse. Can you tell if someone would, would have it to begin with, but you wouldn't use that product for everybody? Again, this would just be something that you would use specifically on people who have shown them up with this disease in the past? Yeah, so it's, this is not a detection diagnostic. It's when a patient is diagnosed. We can de determine through a genetic fingerprint that specific code in your immune system, and then we can track that code over time. You've got a long partnership with Microsoft. They're an investor in the company. Um, and this is something that's a little broader. You're trying to figure out how to map the entire immune system. Indeed, uh, this is an incredibly ambitious goal, one we're making a lot of progress on, and Microsoft has been an incredible partner. Essentially, what we're doing is mapping how our bodies respond to disease, disease by disease. We're creating a map of the human adaptive immune system, or what we call the immunome, and then we leverage that map to, to diagnose disease. And the neat thing about it is we can diagnose many diseases all at the same time because Already? instead of going one by one, disease by disease, our immune system both detects and treats all diseases in the same way. So if we can just learn how to read that information, then we can diagnose many diseases all at the same time. And yes, we're making progress in, 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 in certain disease states already. Which diseases? Um, we, it, what, what, we, what we've publicly announced so far um, is in celiac disease uh, and, and ovarian cancer are two of the ones that we've started with. And, and, and you can diagnose that right now or you're making progress on that and you expect to, have, to be able to actually do this with lots of diseases by when? Yeah, so we're, we're expecting a clinical signal by the end of this year that we can bring into clinical validation next year and have products on the market to diagnose disease in 2021. Obviously, that's a lot of progress and a lot of promise. I, I, just, I like the Microsoft aspect of it because I don't know, the, the convergence is real and it's happening at early stages, but uh, any cancer centers now are, are the, a lot of times the, like at, at MIT, uh, Tyler, uh, Jackson, it, it, it's a convergence of all these different signs. I mean, tech, IT and, and biotechnology are, are going to converge. There's no other way. It's just so complicated and complex that you're going to need computer power really to make the advances you need, right? Absolutely. What Microsoft is doing is they're providing our mach their machine learning capabilities on top, of my, uh, on top of adaptives, chemistry, and informatics to be able to essentially fill out this map. It's actually a problem that's a web scale-like problem, but it's a very tractable problem. And that's where kind of Microsoft comes in. To be able to see, we have these specialized cells in the immune system, and we're, and we're looking at how they bind to signals of disease called antigen. And what, we can actually start filling out this map. But Microsoft, on top of that, provides the machine learning to, to, yeah, to complete the only thing this that, map. That, yeah. that, that I think obviously is, is a ways off is the, the way all the different components of the immune system work in, in, in an immune response. It's not just T cells, not just B cells, not just cytokines, not just macrophage, not just, yeah. I, I mean, it, it's a cascade of that's what causes sepsis. I mean, it, it, you can't even shut it down when it happens. So it's, it's very complex and it's certainly, 
we're, how, we're 20 years away from really understanding everything, aren't you? Yeah, yeah I, I would say we're, we're away from understanding everything, but we focus specifically on right. specialized cells of the immune system called T cells T and B cells. cells, and on the receptor, uh, on the surface they have receptors, right. and we're focused on specifically understanding that receptor and that's the receptors linked to disease. And if we can do that, there's many products that we can build right now, so we're not 20 years away. You're not dealing with Huawei, is that where you're no. going? <laughs> oh, okay. No, no, he, 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 he wants to make sure you're you know, not. I have an investor oh, okay. question. For everybody who's right. watching at home thinking about whether to invest in this company, who should they comp against? Who do you think of as your competitors, and, and, and yeah. what's a fair way to think about that? So, Aaron, it's a great question. So, actually, at the core, we built this immune medicine platform that figures out how to sequence, uh, map, and characterize these receptors. So, think of that as a trunk of the tree. Um, no one competes on the trunk of the tree. There's many branches in life science research and clinical diagnostics and drug discovery where, where I could specify different competitors in each one of those areas, but no one has put the whole thing together like Adaptive has. Chad, thanks for coming in today. It's good to see you. Great and, to see you uh, too, Becky. We'll be watching on the IPO. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Appreciate it.